These images are the fruit of two decades of dedicated whale research. After being hunted to the point of extinction, humpbacks, southern rights and blue whales are returning to Geograph Bay in significant numbers. A welcome recovery documented by a growing army of volunteers. Most people retired. There were some other younger people that would come down from Perth. When they, when they knew, they said they really want to do this. The volunteers have now registered a not-for-profit company to attract private, state and federal funding for more detailed research. We want to also do a, bit, a lot more acoustics and maybe involve people with um, genetics and tagging. On the wish list, a unique 3D mapping technique to chart the weight gain of whales as they return from the Southern Ocean. It's um, particularly rewarding to know that we're contributing to that and some of the stuff that we're doing is um, leading edge stuff. What began with little more than a hunch some 20 years ago that this body of water here behind me hosted one of the great migrations has not only been proven correct, it's also brought this location to the attention of the International Union of the Conservation of Nature's Marine Mammal Task Force. And what they're doing is they're mapping the global important marine mammal areas around the world. And that area, so this is Geograph Bay, the Capes region, Flinders Bay, is now on the map of these important marine mammal areas. Citizen scientists making sure the world's largest mammals are back on the map. Anthony Pansier, ABC News, Geograph Bay.